Hey folks, welcome back. We are doing the Brewers Advent Calendar 2022. Today's day 13. And we are going to have the Martzen beer from Privet Brauer Hutzel. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to Hopped Up Beer Review. It is day 13 on our Brewers Advent calendar, and we are excited to bring you another independent, family-owned German beer uh, from this calendar. Before we get there, be sure to like, subscribe, and cheers that notification bell. I mean, it's the time of year for cheersing, so cheers that notification bell. And check us out on social media. Links are below in the description. Um, and come say hey on Discord. That'd be fantastic. I've got Andy in the attic. I've got Jay. I'm Ben. What are we drinking today, gentlemen? We are going to Privet Browery, Hussel, and this is their Martin beer. So we're going to try this, and let's get rolling. And hope I didn't Sorry. butcher that too bad. We're all good. I think it's very interesting. I like the first thing I noticed about the can is it's got a little shield in the middle and it looks like it has leader hosen on it. So <laughs> I've got my Durndal glass here and uh, yeah. <laughs> it does. I think it, it looks not, like it has a nice corset on it. Is that it? cool? <laughs> uh, that's, that's definitely leader hosen. I didn't even look at that. That's brilliant. What? Uh, awesome. You know, I, I, I'm researching stuff. I'm not looking at art. I'm just, um, wow. It's fantastic. <laughs> I like that. So. This one has so, got yes. a lot of carbonation to it. It does. Yeah. It's very carbonated. But great clear color. Uh, this yeah. has been filtered throughout. So, But if... Hey. Yeah, I would not put this as another Martin either. It's just based on the color alone. But you know what? We just might be ignorant of true German. Mar <laughs> <laughs> Your Dernden is a bit floofy. Yes. So uh, a little ap apology there to our viewers. I failed to switch it to the box of four. We've already poured out. So we're just going to roll with it. What? I don't understand what you're talking about the box. I was still in our intro, so we just had one of us talking at one time. <laughs> That's all right. No big deal. So we're going we're gonna to roll with it. Live TV, right? Is that what they say? Something like that. We've That's already poured, so we got to move. Move forward. That's what happens when we do these things, man. Unprofessional. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Someone buys. Right. Cheers, mate. All right, y'all. I'm going to get this information out, and then we're going to talk about this. That first, that first sip. Yeah. That second sip. It's got my brain whirling now. Okay, so. Got you thinking more, Martin. Huh? Yeah, Jesus, you know if we'll get to this. Privet Brauer, <laughs> Husel. Uh, it's out of Mitchell uh, Germany. Uh, it's a third generation owned brewery. Um, started in 1906. I was going to say, this is a relatively young one for most of the ones. Yeah. 5.3%, uh, zero IBU. That's been all I could find on this one. <laughs> Maybe the fourth generation can give us some more infor information. Did you see anything about the leader hose and chill here on the can? <laughs> or, did you not? The leader host in, in my mind is only a few minutes old now. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. So you were saying first sip, second sip. Did you want to elaborate on that a little bit? Yeah, doing? I'm going to go first on this one. All right. So any of y'all that have actually um, painstakingly been with us through our reviews of the advent calendar. We love you, would, by the way. He loves a strong word. So I love it. yeah, yeah, there we go. Um, 
Andy's got commitment issues. It's okay. You know, I just think people throw the love word out just haphazardly. So, anywho, says the one who's been with the same woman and longest married out of all of us. So, as we were saying, <laughs> as I was saying, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a Martin, but again, I have only had. United States brewed Martins and I have not had enough German Martins. So my, you know, my impression of them has, has, is now distorted because this is at least the third Martin beer classified Martin that we've had in this brewer's advent calendar that when we taste it, we are like, we do not initially go to a Martin. Um, so that said, you know, we got to look at what's a Martin. Well, Martin means March it's brewed or, you know, the, the process starts in March. It uh, is stored through the summer and tapped, you know, usually September, October time. Does that mean it's all going to be that heavy malty taste or not heavy malty, but a malty taste with a, an amber copper color? No, you know, so I'm, I'm guessing not. So I need to adjust what I think what a Martin beer is. Um, it's, it's still a good beer and it reminds me of Germany. It's got that German appeal, that German taste to it, but it doesn't go so much to that, you know, the malty caramel type of Martin taste. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here confused, dumbfounded. Um, but it's good. I'm going to give it a, a, another 7.0 on the Martin. It's I'll drink it again. It's it's a quality beer, but I think we need to, you know, what we at least I need to go into my future Martins and think, okay, you know, I'm going to open it up to a little more range of what I think a Martin should be. All right. That's my case. Case closed. Jay, what do you think? You know, th this one, unlike some of the others, to me, has a lot more flavor. It's got, it's got more of what I would expect out of a Martin or a German Martin, assuming like we talked about. Um, I, I mean, I agree with you, Andy. It's, it makes you kind of think and reevaluate what we look at and what, how we understand the world. And maybe it's one of these we need to go back and look at the history of Martin and understand <clears throat> where it originated and who who sets the standard for that. How how do we interpret that? You know, is it the American version, the German version, or maybe another or origin? Um, I, I think it's a, a great beer. And I, I'm really enjoying this one. It's uh, seven and a half to me. Okay. Yeah, I think it's all, you know, all very interesting because here in the in the states we get fed a certain, you know, every. It, it's great living in the states because I think we get exposed to a lot of different types of beer. Um, where you have breweries here that are trying to do things, you know, they're they're trying to do a German, you know, Martian. And maybe they're trying to do it too much to where they're, you know, putting putting more of those malts in and it comes off stronger because I think that's, you know, based on what we've discussed with the one yesterday and previously that, you know, we've got, you know, these malty, malty beers here in the U.S. that are Martins and then we're getting these German Martins and they're closer to what we would almost think of as like a fest beer. Um, so you know, we're trying to figure out, you know, what's the right answer. And, and there may not be one. And just like in, in any, any beer type, there's going to be a wide range, like Andy said, of, of what we think of in that, in that range um, of that beer. So all that being said, I think, I think the great thing about doing this box is that, you know, we've seen now, I think this is the third Martin that we've had. Uh yep. Third or fourth, yeah, at yeah. least. 
that has not been what we expected it to be. Um, and they're all German. <laughs> and so that's kind of the, almost, I think, the standard, you know. So, um, so I, that, that's, that's the fun part of it for me, I, I think. And I think you guys would agree. I mean, we're always, as you guys know that are watching, if you've seen any of our videos, um, anybody that's probably doing a, a YouTube, you know, beer review channel is really out there just to try different beer. Um, and that's really, you know, what we have always liked to do and have always done previous to even having a show. Um, we just want to try something different, learn about, uh, learn about it as much as we can. And uh, that's been a fun thing about this uh, Brewers Advent calendar is we're learning specifically about German beer. And, you know, maybe our thoughts on what German beer was is always exactly right and that's okay um so as i am usually long-winded uh all that to say this is great you know i, I love this I, I love the marsons that we've had this is a, a another really good example uh, a little bit lighter a little bit you know a little bit lighter in color a little bit lighter in flavor than than we're you know probably used to with the ones that we've gotten from america um, but still a, a great beer, um, eight for me all day. I think it, it just goes to show uh, the region that you're in, the ingredients that you use, because, you know, they use certain mineral waters, like some these breweries, they tap a, a well that is fed by a vein from this subarctic glacier that, you know, that comes down, yep. it all makes a difference. And then, like like you said, maybe like Jay said, maybe you should categorize this as an American Martin, a German Martin, you know, because there's different types of pilsner. So there's a German pilsner, oh. there's a Czech pilsner, there's an, there's an American mm. pilsner, and it, it all goes back to like you said, the ingredients. You got your water, your hops, your malts. I mean, and the yeast. All all yeah, of these makes yeah, a yeah, difference. Yeast, all of these that we've had for the German March beers or the, the Festa beers, they've been very light, light in color. I mean, you yeah. can't see it, but it, it looks like a lager or a Pilsner in a lot of ways for what we are used to. Mm -hmm. uh, but looking at those natural ingredients, that could be the, the complete difference in all of these. Uh, so... And if I can throw in one more thought here, because, you know, Oktoberfest wasn't that long ago. You know, I remember reading something, I read an article that was talking about Oktoberfest. And it was talking about how, you know, they have switched to almost all fest beers because they're lighter ABV than a Martin, you know, and that's really, you know, they're, they're really trying to curb people drinking too much. Uh, and that's kind of been the way it's been for a, a while uh, at, at Oktoberfest in, in Munich. Um, and when I drink the Martins that we've had out of this box and then I drink a fist beer, they're not too far off, which no. is no. really well, interesting now. Well, I mean, if you do just a, a general Wikipedia search, uh, Martin, the way they classify that is it typically is from 5.1 to 6.0 ABV. That, that, it's not anything outrageous for what we're dealing with now. It is on the higher scale for the Advent box, the, the Brewer's Advent box that we have. I think the highest one we've had is what, maybe 6.2? Yeah. Uh, but it, and then a lot have been down more towards that 4.5 to, to 4.9. But yeah, I failed yeah, to mention this one. Not, um, nothing like some of the other American ones where, you know, we see things that are, you know, 8, 9. Yeah. And even when you get into some of the higher stouts and the pastries and the other barrel age stuff that goes, you can get up 12, 15%. Well, and, and real quickly, the fest beers that, that we've had or, or that I've had personally, maybe we haven't reviewed here. Um, I mean, they're in the four to 5%, you know, so it's really not that far off from yeah. the, the fest beer to the marks and from an ABV, at least the ones that we've had out of the box. I think I failed to mention this is 5.3% zero IBUs and the range because the last one we had was like 20 IBUs yeah. Um, yeah. Of, of the Martin. So, but it was, and, it was around that five point something percent. It, and I mean, we all grew up in uh, states that were so restrictive because we're part of the, the Bible belt. 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, when I was growing up, uh, there's dry counties all around me everywhere, dry cities. But the state I lived in, they wouldn't allow craft beer or anything like it. I mean, until Free the Hops came along and we, we've been through it. You can go back and review our other episodes on Good People where they were one of the first ones brewing in the state um and and their cans actually say brewed legally since uh 2008 so it's it's been a a trial and tribulation to get there because of the abv issue um used to be only you could get macros in a lot of our states because that's what was there and it was less than five percent alcohol All right, that will give us a seven and a half for the March and Beer from the Privet Browery Hussle. So definitely want to check out if you can get it. I'm guessing you probably can't unless you have this box here. <laughs> um, just based on our viewership, you know. I mean, <laughs> it's so elitist of you. <laughs> yes. Hey, you can't get this. But Listen, you hey, can't. You're not, you're not. I'm better than you. You know what? But you've watched this show. And you know whether you're going to like it or not based on how we've we've rated it here. Um, so hopefully you're following along with your own Brewers Advent uh, calendar box here. If you are, be sure to let us know what you think about it. If you aren't, then we appreciate you watching this video anyway. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and cheers that notification bell as well as check us out on social media. Links are below in the description. Come say hey in Discord. We would love to have you there. Until tomorrow, for Andy in the Attic and Jay, I am Dan. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates.